Tom is very different than Fred, but somehow what we feel about Tom Hanks is somewhat similar to how we feel about Fred Rogers. There's something about the warmth, the goodness we feel when we see him. And it's more about us than it's about him, if you know what I mean. It's what we attach to him. It's what he means to us. It's what he was for us when we were growing up. There are very few actors who have that, and I think he's the only one who could have played this part. He said that when he would do the program, he would think about one child on the other side of the camera, and he would try to perform just for one child. And I thought about that when we were filming with Tom Hanks. You know, the first day we filmed the opening of the movie, I'm pretty sure that I said to him, I want you to picture one of your grandkids on the other side of that camera lens, and we're going to do, just do it for her. Well, I'm a mom of a young kid, and I was thinking a lot about how I want to raise a kind person in the world. So Fred's message felt even more resonant to me than ever. Um, I think we don't have a lot of role models right now, people who can help us learn how to be our better selves. And the idea of working on a movie where I got to have Fred's wisdom in my ears for a number of years was really appealing. You know, Fred had this thing that he would do and he would ask people to take a moment of silence and think about the people who loved them and to be. And we knew we were going to do a scene that used that. And um, we decided to pepper the restaurant filled with his wife, Bill Eisler, people who worked on the show for years, the real Mr. McFeely, his nephew. We filled it with Fred people. And it was sort of just a secret thing for us to feel like we were really connected to Fred in that moment.